Hi everyone, I'm Novi here again for another video. I would just like to share this amazing um, online tool, classroomscreen.com. This is another tool that we could use this pandemic since we are now in the blended learning, classroomscreen.com. Natuwa lang ako at gusto kong i-share ito sa inyo. So, just type classroomscreen.com sa browser. But take note, hindi siya pwede sa mobile phone. Kasi medyo malaki yung uh, graphics niya kailangan sa desktop or sa laptop. So, once na na-type nyo yung classroomscreen.com, yan yung lalabas. And you need to launch the new classroom screen. So, this is the new classroom screen. Ating... I zoom out. Yan. So, this is the... Um, ano ba ang tawag dito? Ayan. Ito yung makikita nyo once na nag-open kayo ng browser. Ayan. So... Simple as that, that's the classroom screen and I would like to show and to navigate you, walk through, walk through you sa kanyang mga um, specifications. So, we have a lot of icons dito sa baba at isa-isahin natin siya starting from the calendar. So, once you click the calendar, may lalabas lang dyan na calendar. So, you could see clearly kung ano ang date today. You would also have the clock. Yung clock. May settings yan eh. So, pwedeng ibahin yung color. Yung background. Ayan. So, yun lang. Clock at saka calendar. We also have the stopwatch. Especially if you have this interactive game na kailangan ng timer. You don't need to use your phone anymore. At makikita na from your, directly from your screen yung timer. At pwede mo siyang ilap. Example. Lap. 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 Ayan. Di ba? Amazing. Nakakatuwa ito. We also have timer. Kung ayaw nyo naman ang top stopwatch, meron ding timer. Iset natin siya na halimbawa 2 minutes, uh, 2 seconds. Tapos may mga, may mga um, ringtone. So, pwedeng harp. Testing natin. Amazing, di ba? Nakakatuwa ito. Alright. Yan, pa-pressure lang yung tunog. So, maganda itong gamitin, especially if you have a game or at, uh, you need a timer to use. Meron ding traffic light. This could be used if ever you have a signal to your class. Let's say, for example, green means go or yellow means wait, red means stop. So, very friendly use, user friendly nito. Meron din dito ang work symbols. So, if ever you're uh, dynamic, you need to be quiet first or kailangan naka whisper, a stable, and work together. So, pwede rin natin siyang palakasin. Kung ayaw niyo ng white, pwede mo siyang i-customize to your color that you would like. Green, blue, or... Ayan. Diba? Amazing. Meron din ditong text. If you would like to some say something or to announce something to your class, let's say, for example, announcement. Ayan. Or let's have brain break for 15 minutes. Josie. Yan. Let's have brain break for 15 minutes. So, yan lang yung makikita nila sa screen. If ever you need to, to have a break, 
you could also customize it sa kanilang um, font, font size, and the color. Again, pwede rin siyang i-customize depende sa color na gusto mo. Pwede hindi white. Pwede na blue or red or yellow na lang ulit. Ayan. Diba? Amazing. Ayan. Delete lang natin siya. Pwede rin na QR code. Let's say, for example, meron kang papasagutan na quiz sa kanila. Halimbawa ay bit.ly dot slash slash quiz 1. Halimbawa, if you have a quiz, yan, pwede na nilang, pwede mo siya instantly i-share on your screen. We could also have sound level. Ito namang sound level, as I've noticed, makikita dito yung sensitivity and max noise. So, lagyan natin ng timer para mag-ring siya if you have already reached the maximum level of noise. Let's see kung mag-ring siya. Ayan, so hindi pa nagre-reach yung maximum noise niya, kaya siya, ayun, na-reach na niya. <laughs> Kasi nag-bell na siya. So that's it. Meron din dito na dice. So maganda ito na gamitin siguro kapag uh, randomly you could play dice 1, 2, or 3. Ayan, and then this could be... Um, a form of a game, the first person to siguro to count or just an icebreaker siguro sa inyong online class. You could also have a random name. This is very useful especially if you have a uh, few students and you would like to choose. Siyempre, in an online class, hindi mo naman makikita yung raise of hands immediately but you could just have a random picking of name. Let's say, for example, si Jose, Juan, Maria, ang iyong students. And you would like to not randomly choose who from Jose, Juan, and Maria would answer. Juan is the chosen one. <laughs> we could also have, nakikita nyo sa screen ko, si Liberty sa New York. Pwede natin siyang paltan ng background. Depende sa iyong choice. Tingnan natin. Pwede na random color or pwedeng animations. Sige, lagyan natin ang animation para medyo gumagalaw ng konti siya. Ayan. So, napalta na siya. So, that's it. So, very simple and yet very interactive, di ba? Especially ngayon na uh, we're into online learning. Maganda, we need to navigate and to look for uh, helpful tools in the internet that we could use in the online learning. So, that's it. Ito lang naman yung specs ng um, classroom screen. I hope we could also use this in your future online class. So, thank you for watching and Yun. By the way, ito nga palang screen dito sa gilid. Makikita mo yung if you have new screen, if you would like to have another screen, another set for your another class. Pwede rin yun. Pwede one screen per class. Or you could have a poll. Ibig sabihin nung poll, once na nag-leave ang students, halimbawa natapos yung class nyo, mag- kakaroon sila ng poll. What did you think of today's lesson? Is it good? So-so? Okay lang? Or not so good? Or very bad? From there, makikita mo ano ba yung feeling ng students. And that's very important to consider. Ano ba yung naramdaman nila? And what, what do they think of today's lesson? So that on the next lesson, you could adjust or you could improve. So, that's an, a good um, feature of this classroom screen. Ayun. So, you could also have a new group maker. This new group maker, this is, you could add the, the your students just to make sure that you would have a solid group 
together with your class. So, yun lang naman. So, nat- natuwa lang ako sa classroom screen nila ito. Kasi, amazing eh. This is really a helpful tool for us to be interactive and to be creative in our classroom. So, again, thank you for watching and see you sa next video. Oh,